I finished up my nails with Alex. I've gone, you can't even see how beautiful it is here, but I've gone for this shade. Kind of trying to show you so that it hits the light. So this is um, a new brand that I've never used before. Uh, I think it's called like Bill Bird or something like that. This is their 144 or 143 glitter gel. It is incredible. I've got it on my toes. So sparkly, so, so sparkly. And um, they're looking so festive. Oh my gosh. But I quickly want to try on my possible Christmas party dress with you because I actually haven't sorted one this year. I mean, I've got lots of dresses that I could wear. So if this doesn't fit, then I can um, hopefully use something else, but I'm, I've, I haven't tried it on yet. It's the dress from Arvel, the green one that I opened up with you. And I have to try this on because it's so beautiful. I've seen uh, Rachel Ward wearing it on her stories or on her feed the other day. And I was like, I need to try that dress on. So I'm gonna pop it on now. Then I'm gonna hopefully have enough time to rush to Susa and Hicks and pick up uh, coats and jackets. I might try and get my brows done as well at some point. I've got my Amazon tights on from my other video, by the way, because I just filmed the cutaways for it. These are game changing. Right, let's try this dress on so that I can get going. So this is the dress, and I just think it has the perfect amount of sparkle, and the cut of it is stunning. I probably wouldn't usually go for a V-neck like this, but it looks so lovely on, and I've obviously got my new chest. First Christmas with my new chest. And I feel like my boobs just get smaller and smaller every month and it makes me so happy. <laughs> okay, what do we think? I'm not sure about the neckline on me, but I absolutely love it. It's got pockets. It's got a little bit of like um, padding to the shoulders as well, which gives it real, real structure. Let me know what you think in terms of Christmas party. I probably wouldn't wear it with boots. It'll probably be my Manolo, Manolo Blahnix with the black satin. But do you think it suits me? Do you think it emphasises my big shoulders? What do we think? I'm going to ask the girls. The girls always know best. Right, outfit of the day is my Amelia Wickstead cable net cump dress? Jumper dress. Uh, Karen Millen coat, Amazon tartan green, black and merlot scarf, a mess belt, a mess bag, and theory boots and obviously Clementine and Mint headband, which is fully exposing my not great skin at the moment because it is time of the month for me, although it looks like these spots are ready to, ready to rumble anytime soon. I honestly never ever get spots anymore. Who remembers when I had um, acne, obviously at the very beginning of my channel and I went on my acne journey. Oh my gosh, it has been such a journey um, to finding out what caused my acne. My acne was caused by stress, like, that to me is just, it just blew my mind because it came back when I was having that really difficult time and I had to do that second round of um, acne treatment and I realized that it was my stress, stress levels causing my acne. I'd never even considered that. But anyway, I'm gonna jump in the car. I'm gonna head to Seaster and Hicks on a whistle stop to pick up some pieces. and I've got two pieces to, to try on today. So my coat that you've obviously seen me document and then also a made to measure little cropped jacket that I think is gonna be perfect for the Christmas period. So we're gonna be trying those on. I'm just setting up all of my various cameras. <laughs> Literally ridiculous, okay. So you might be mad at me because I think I've got a dress that's too thick on. Yeah, probably will be mad at you. Oh wow, man. Remember that? Oh wow! The... That was Rose's idea of crossing that. It looks so good. Oh, that is perfect, isn't yeah. it? It would have, it would have got lost, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the colours. Yeah, it's so your colour. Oh my gosh! Okay. That's okay. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. oh my gosh, the fit is amazing. Perfect. Wow. Oh. Wow. And a half, isn't it? That is stunning. Oh, it's so, so smart. Lydia, if you were going out somewhere and it was windy, you'd do it up. So yes. I, I yeah, see, that's I true, actually. So we did nothing fancy on that. So you haven't got the fancy cuff, no Alcantara, but you've got the two button cuff. Yes, because we decided against the Alcantara. Yeah, because it's too busy. Yeah. You don't need it with that. But if you look at yeah. your cuff, Lydia, two buttons and two different colours. 
on the buttonholes. One's green, one's brown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then your flower hole. I think we did a flower hole. Yes. Oh my god. So, yes. so Jess has done that green and brown by hand. Oh wow. That's the subtlety of it. But only somebody who knows handmade will know that that's got to be handmade to do it. That looks lovely, isn't it? Great length, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. As I've said to you many times before, if I could make you look good in clothes, I'd stand up. <laughs> 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 I'm serious. Wow. But then what we've done is done your, so that's the colour of your, your the sleeve, sleeve lining, oh, but wow. we've made the pocket here in, and that's your labels obviously with the us and then the Harley Minis, so. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, and that's your flower hole. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. And then you've got your little flower hole there. That green yeah. effect, hasn't it? And that didn't really... It feels like it's got an, a, a really nice amount of green tone to yeah. it yeah. without yes. it being yeah. green. If you got a green dress underneath it, of course, yes. right, then you'll yeah. pull the green out. Yeah, I needed to get one like this in yeah, green. Yeah, you, you've got a bottom green, like British green. Racing green, that fabulous. I think this one's going to look spectacular with that jacket. That nice. Yeah, so. that's a whole idea of that. Oh, wow, it's perfect. Thank it's you so much. Beautiful. Honestly, this is just, even the feel of it, it's perfect. Yeah. This fabric is amazing. Not too heavy, Lydia. No, it's not. No. Which is really like I, I think it's really surprised me that this is so like such a warm coat, but yet it doesn't feel not too heavy. No. It doesn't feel like I'm like you know weighed down by it. It's wonderful, gorgeous, oh. gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> I just can't wait to wear it. <laughs> well, if you, I, you know what's going on here, Lydia. It's, it's a total one-off. Yes, no, exactly. Nobody, other people don't have this fabric, including me. Yeah. But but nobody's going to have the way this is done. Yeah. That's the thing I love about it. I love having these because it, it's not like necessarily that you like have your whole wardrobe done. No, it's, cause it, it's just you, you you dream up a piece and you're like. Yeah. And then you you have to wait for it. Yeah. Which is the problem. Of this course. is gorgeous. So that's wool with 10% silk, and that's Italian cloth. That's from... Well, that's uh, a good match, you know. I know, that's what I was thinking. This is going to look so perfect with this. Well, this is a trial. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This looks... In fact, hold on, I'm going to have to do it like this. Sorry. I oh, know, you're going to put it over your shoulder. I am, yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's the perfect... Ideal length, isn't it? Like, and that, that button. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. So this is the jacket that people can order from you if yes, they want to. Yes, they can. This is fantastic. The shape of this. But that's factory made, machine made rather than handmade yes. like your coat. So that's computer cut. We tell it what to do. But look at that lovely shape. Yeah. I love that little flick out there. It looks beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. It's like a peplum. Yeah, yeah it's this. like a little knit, a little crop. That's right as well, wasn't it? Is that right? Yeah, it's lovely. Beautiful. The shape of it is yeah. brilliant. So beautiful. But again, you've created a little one-off. Yeah. You've got another yeah. one of them. Yeah. It is literally the perfect piece for this dress yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. funny yeah. enough, you come in. Did you do it above? No, this is oh, just a new girl. dress. I was like, I want to wear my new dress. <laughs> oh, it's the lining matches <laughs> it as Laura said. Oh, yeah, yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's worked very well. I'll go and get some. So exciting. Thank you for that. So I'm just trying on a few samples of the black label from Seaster and Hicks and this is their sort of made to measure computer, computer cut, computer cut machine, machine made, made, factory made, factory made. <laughs> got to get all those technical terms in there but I actually love this coat so it's a bit shorter than I would go for what I would do is make this completely ankle length and do it in a beautiful black watch uh, wool fabric and then probably some gold buttons but the USP about this is when you look at the lining it's got a quilted lining that's going to give you so much warmth and obviously you get the the ability to choose the colour the buttons have the measurements make sure that it fits you like really really perfectly and for someone like me with my big shoulders that is always very attractive so I think I'm not going to order anything today. I know I always come here and I order, order something new. Not I'm not allowed. But for future, obviously I've got my new coat to wear now, but for future, this is definitely something that um, I would order and make, make it sort of like my own personal style. But love that. Love the red as well. It's cute. I've just finished up at Seaster and Hicks. My next stop is Derma Spa for my laser top up. I picked up two of my three pieces that I've ordered. 
I refrained from um, <laughs> from ordering anything else, which is good for me. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, Derma Spa. Hopefully I'm going to get there in time. 16 minutes. Perfect. And um, the jacket. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that made to measure the black label of Susan and Hicks. So it's just their slightly lower price point um, label. I didn't think it was going to be as amazing as it is. It's the perfect little crop jacket. I'll be able to wear that in spring and in autumn with like crop jeans and ballet flats. It's so gorgeous. We're going to style it up when we get home, but I need to crack on and uh, head to my next appointment. Let's do this. Well, I barely have a scrap of makeup left on my face after today. I've obviously been to have um, laser and um, I also wanted to have my brows done. I can't, I've got no hands, I've got no hands. Where am I gonna put you? I think I'll pop you on there. You'll probably see half of me. Um, and I'm just hanging up the bits that I picked up today from Seaster and Hicks that you would have seen me try on. I need to spend the evening, oh this is the worst light, goodness me, the worst light. Um, where should I pop you? I need a trusty Saint-Tropez bottle, fresh one, express. There we go, I can pop you there. Po apologies to my face, but um, I have had some exciting news today. Exciting but also disruptive, although I'm actually really happy that this is going to happen now. I think that this could be almost like a perfect timing situation but we've got the guys working on the balustrade i've not shown you them yet and obviously it's dark now so i have to show you in tomorrow's video but um they've put all of the new oak balustrades in and they are looking so good but there's two that they're not able to do because it's currently sub-zero temperatures in the uk and um a lot of people can't work when they do sort of like trades outside because the um what's it called, the cement and things like that doesn't set in the same way. And it can cause issues. So what they're going to do is they're going to come up to my dressing room and make some changes in here. There are going to be some more changes happening. This is an ever evolving space. This is one thing I have to, um, I have to admit. I am doing this in the complete wrong way. Yes, body, I'm coming. I am doing this in the complete wrong way. I obviously impulsively, painted this in um, the most beautiful shade of that tear earlier on in the year. And we've obviously painted Ali's now, we've got his new floor down and Ali treated me to the same floor as him to come into my room, which I think is gonna be really, really lovely. But we've struggled to get the guy that did Ali's floor to come back, this is such a long-winded story. I'm so sorry. But he's um, basically, the guys that are doing the balustrades are going to come up here tomorrow because they can't work outside and they're going to lay my floor. So what they're going to do, it's going to be a, a bit of carnage. The first thing that they're going to do is obviously take the current skirtings off of the um, units. Uh, they're going to take this floor up. I know lots of people really love this floor and we actually, I believe, we have donated Ali's floor to his friends because one of um, the issues, we were aiming to donate it and um, a lot of floor fitters just simply won't fit uh, this floor when it's been already fitted, like when it's second hand. And Ali's friend was like, I'll do it myself. So we gave it to him. I don't know how they've got on with it, to be honest, we need to ask them. Um, so this, the same will probably happen to this floor. Um, it's coming up and that's gonna obviously warm up this room a lot more. It's gonna feel a lot cosier. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So they're gonna lay that. Um, and then I will either have the same skirting put back on, depending on how it comes off, or they'll put new new skirting on and we'll just get Ken and Graham to come and decorate it in. The second thing that um, I'm actually changing, and I know this has been a bit of a journey in terms of my collection, like if you remember in my old house, I had a collection of handbags that was like, I think it was like 50 to 60, 70 handbags at one point. And I know that I talked about this in a previous vlog, but I've had a real, a real change when it comes to how I feel about things over the last few months. And I'm gonna be selling yet more of um, my bags. And so what I'm actually gonna be doing is changing the configuration of my shelves as well. I've spoken about this previously, but seeing Ali's dressing room, I've definitely, I, I think it's gonna look really lovely to just do this in here. I'm gonna be getting rid of some of my shelves on either side at the main sort of um, 
a unit in here. I'm gonna take out two of the shelves and I'm gonna have beautiful brass rails um, added in so that I can have some of my favorite blouses or blazers, like my country clothing, those kinds of bits on show. It will be really good for the acoustics in here. It will be good because I don't feel like I need to fill shelves. Like it's, it's bizarre, but because I have so much shelf space, I have this really weird thing that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to have things on show. I'm going to be changing that. The shoes are still gonna be on show, um, but I'm gonna have a lot more like cashmere jumpers folded and I'm just whittling my handbag collection down to almost nothing. As I said, a lot of the things nowadays that I buy are like vintage pieces, even in fact, everything that I've asked for for Christmas is like old. <laughs> so yeah it's it's a bit of a process i have sold a few more things but today is all about clearing out these shelves so that nothing gets dirty and so they can pretty much start work so my dressing room is probably going to be out of bounds as of tomorrow uh which is a bit scary really because it's a, it feels a little bit um it feels a little bit what's the word like i haven't prepared <laughs> i'm not prepared so um, I, I think it should be done fairly quickly. I think they're gonna have two guys on the job. So hopefully it'll only take like a couple of days, at least for them to get the floor down. Um, but they're really good. They've worked on a lot of the stuff around the outside of the house. So I'm hoping it's all gonna come across, uh, come together nicely. So yeah, I'm gonna have a bit of a clear out, sort through some bags that I want to get rid of, probably some more bits and pieces, shoes, etc., and clear things out. Goodness me, I can't believe it. I feel I just don't feel ready. I don't feel ready. Gosh. Look how empty my shelves are. So I'm leaving all of the shoes out, but because they can just be wiped clean essentially. Bags have all been cleared out and sorted through. We've got another big clear out coming. I'm just in the process of loading up boots to take out. I'm gonna to have to remove the puff from the end of the island and just get it all clear, ready for tomorrow. Just the last few bits to be moved out, which is my little step ladder that I use to put my little tripod on for TikToks. I obviously need to move out my chair in and this little Ottoman Ujimi flip. These are some boots that I'm sending back that don't fit me nicely at all. Um, the only thing that I'm not sure is I'm pretty sure that this cupboard has been fitted over the floor. So they may have to cut around it or I don't know because this is obviously, I mean, it was done terribly in reality because the floor, I'd never even noticed that. This is supposed to obviously border inside and that's, oh my gosh, that was done so bad. Honestly, the person that did our floor the last time did, did such a terrible job. So hopefully this time it's gonna come out all nice. I'm getting rid of the border and just going for traditional, traditional planks. And um, it's probably gonna feel a lot cozier in here, a lot warmer. And these are the shelves that I'll be taking out. So I'm taking out this shelf, this shelf. I don't know if this will be happening anytime soon, but then I will be getting the same rail as Ali, I'll go and show you that in a sec. And then I want to put one of my like, either antique Louis pieces up here, or I'm going to have some urns, some more George Bronwyn urns made. And then this will just be shoes, which will be really good. And then any sort of like cashmere jumpers, things that need to be folded, that look, need to look beautiful, will be on these shelves. And I'm literally gonna whittle my bag collection down to nothing. It's a very different time for me in terms of accessories. Pardon me in my um, work attire, but um, I'm about to go and put the rest of my pajamas on. But yes, it's a very different time in terms of everything, like shoes and things like that, and having um, having those, I just, you know, shoes don't bother me too much, but um, the bags, yeah, I feel like I've, I feel like I've changed for the better. Um, I found the styles that I like, I found my style and um, yeah, I think it's going to be a lot better in here when we ha don't have quite so much on display. Anyway, I've, I've got my head in the clouds this evening but I'm going to head to bed because I've been going to bed so late recently and I really don't like it so I'm going to go and wash my face, 
um, try and give my face a bit more time to breathe because I've come out in um, hormonal spots and um, get an early night and drink lots of water. So um, I will see you in my next vlog. Sorry if this one was a bit all over the place, but um, yeah, I've just been here, there and everywhere today and we're getting so close to finishing for Christmas. So I want all of my vlogs to be wrapped up and um, edited, ready to go live next week basically. So yeah, gosh, busy year.